Hey everyone, today I'm going to tell you why Virtual DJ is the absolute best DJ software out there. And also, I'll give you my top tips about 10 plus settings that you may want to change and to make your Virtual DJ a damn real and the most amazing DJ platform. Before starting with my more than 10 tips, let's mention the price. For home use, Virtual DJ cost zero US dollars. Yes, you can have it for free. If you use controllers and for professional use, there are many subscription models ranging from 19 to 99 US dollars per month. However, they also give you the option to buy their pro version for a lifetime for just 299. That must be respected and Pioneer and other brands like Adobe must learn their lesson. I bought mine around four years ago and I'm super happy with the purchase. The only small shortcoming of this software is that you have to tweak at least 10 or maybe more settings to make it work for you. And without further ado, let's start with those settings. Virtual DJ is known for the so many skins that you can use, but I stick to the main one. I just want to get rid of the turntables and to have more real estate. I'm just choosing the performance layout and voila, we are ready. Tip number one, key of the song and auto key, key display. First, press the gear icon on the right side of the screen, then go to the options and in the search field write key. Here there are two options to check and change eventually. Auto key will adjust the key of the song to match the previous one. It is up to you to choose yes or no for this one. The second most important one is key display. And here 99% of the DJs will prefer the harmonic option and I will choose that option as well. This is known as the Camelot wheel or mixed in key wheel. This option is a lot easier and friendlier and intuitive for DJs. Tip number two, loop quantize. Replace the word key in the search field with the word loop. Here quantize loop must be set to yes. This way all your loops will be on time. Number three, how to match BPM from the main screen. Now exit the settings and go to the main screen. Here on top left choose the performance layout. If you missed that before. On the left deck, close to the Q button, there is a small cog icon. Press it and choose how to match BPM. The same button can be found on the right deck as well, but here the button is located close to the sync button. Do the same here. Great. Number four, stems. This is controversial one because many of you will want this feature and I get that. But at least for me, stems are still on stage 1.0. So to can this function be mature and work 100% free of hiccups, we will need maybe 5 or 10 years. Until then, I prefer to stop it from the menu. Here is how to do that. Go to settings and options again and search stems. To stop stems, you have to find stems real-time separation and instead of always choose fully disabled. Tip number five, hot cues. On the main page where it says stems, I just choose hot cues. And that of course must be done for both decks. Number six, hot cue label. Here we will change a few things. First write hot and find hot cue mode. For most DJs, the typical CDJ cue behavior is called stutter. Choose that option. While you are on this page, change cue display instead of name to be number. Write set cue and change this function to yes. Write sort and change auto sort cues to yes. Perfect. Number seven, waveform colors. Write colored. And here, for the colored waveforms, you can choose mainly between neutral or infrared. Number eight, font size. Write font and change font size to 1.2. For me, this setting works fine. Number nine, bit lock and quantize on the main screen. 
exit from the settings and on the main window press QT and lock buttons on both decks. You will thank me later for those two. Number 10. Analyze the main music folder. This one is huge for me. How does it work? Let me show you. My folder structure. In one main folder, music, I have many other folders with music divided by genre or a year. To analyze all of them, I simply click once with the right-click button on my mouse and I choose Batch, then Analyze for BPM. That is a real time saver for many users. Those are my top 10 settings to make Virtual DJ great. Here are a few bonus tips for you. Stems GPU. Write Stems in the search field again and change Stems GPU from Automatic to your video card, in my case NVIDIA. This will analyze faster your stems if you use them, but also the performance of the software will be a lot better. Next up is the waveform zoom. This can be found on the main screen. On the left side, there is a ruler, and if you want to see more of your song, as I prefer, just move the slider around the middle position. This way, you can see better where the drops are and the next key moments of the song as well. To close properly today's video, dear friends, I can say a few things. First, I'm not sponsored or supported by Virtual or any other brand. Brands don't like me because I'm telling the truth. Nobody wants to hire me to show them their weak points and drawbacks, and that is a real shame. All and every single word from today's video is my own feeling and experience while testing Deeply Virtual DJ. Whether you are just starting out or you are a seasoned pro, Virtual DJ has something that sets it apart from the rest. Let's just summarize in one conclusion. First off, let's talk about the interface. Virtual DJ's layout, it's incredibly intuitive. It's designed to make your workflow very smooth, whether you're mixing live or preparing a set. The customizable interface allows you to tailor everything to your needs. No clutter, just things that you need, when you need it. Let's now talk features. Virtual DJ offers a range of advanced tools that put it ahead of the competition. The high-definition waveforms are crisp and very detailed, giving you a clear visual representation of your tracks. This makes beat matching a breeze, even for the trickiest mixes. And while we are speaking about waveforms, here is my absolute favorite thing, the waveform zoom that we already discussed. On some other DJ softwares, like Recordbox, for example, you're very limited with the zoom in and out levels. Here I place the zoom lever in the middle position for exactly two reasons. For one, I get dizzy with so many fast moving waveforms. And number two, I can see more clearly what happened with the track next. To me, this is very helpful. But what really sets Virtual DJ apart is its real-time stem separation. This feature alone allows you to isolate vocals, instruments, bass lines and drums on the fly. Just imagine remixing or creating mashups live, pulling out just the vocals or dropping the bass line with single click. While other DJ softwares does have this, Virtual DJ stems are class leading compared to other programs. I personally almost never use stems. I prefer the simplest phrasing mixing. But this is for another topic probably. Virtual DJ also excels when it comes to music management. It supports an extensive range of music libraries and integrates with all major streaming services like Tidal, SoundCloud, Beatport. That means access to millions of tracks all within the software. Let's mention another killer feature, speed. Virtual DJ analyzes my 10,000 track collection for less than two hours. Not many softwares can do that. And with speed, hand in hand comes another thing that nobody else on this planet can come even close to Virtual DJ. That is PC resources free of any hiccups. 
Virtual DJ works with almost zero stress on your PC. His resource meter almost never moves. On Serato, it goes absolutely crazy on the same PC. If that is not enough for you, here is another big one. That again, no other company can come even close to Virtual DJ. Compatibility. Virtual DJ is incredibly versatile. You can run it on your home laptop or link it with high-end professional gear. The software is compatible with almost any hardware on the planet. So, you are not limited by your equipment. You can even mix Tractor and Pioneer controllers and both will work together. There is no other software that can reach that level of compatibility. Another huge, huge plus, the Virtual DJ community. There is an absolutely massive community of users constantly creating and sharing new add-ons, skins, and plugins. This keeps the software fresh and allows you to customize your experience even further. There is even more. Virtual DJ work with video clips as well. Personally, I don't use videos in my gigs, but for $2.99, this software simply smashes the competition. There you have it, friends. Virtual DJ isn't just another piece of DJ software. It's a powerhouse that gives you creative freedom, advanced features, and the versatility to perform at your best, no matter where you are. If you haven't tried it yet, now is the time. Trust me, Virtual DJ will take your DJing to the next level. Download your Virtual DJ today and discover why it is the world's number one DJ software. From me, Nico, be well and don't stop mixing nice music. I love you all. Peace.